Well, throughout the month of May in the city of Danville, we are celebrating Make Danville Shine Month, and we want you to take an active role in beautifying and maintaining your residence. We have teamed up with Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse to provide you with some simple tips to make Danville shine. A fresh coat of paint is one of the best ways to make the outside of your house look a lot better. We're going to show you some exterior painting techniques that will help make your home look great again. Now before you start painting, make sure you've already thoroughly prepped the exterior. Now this is a step that should not be ignored. It'll make your painting job much easier and make the new paint last longer. And for steps on prepping, check out Lowe's.com slash videos. And while you're there, see the printable instructions for this project. Now, depending on how big your house is, the job might take a few days to complete. So watch the weather forecast and pick a stretch of warm and dry days. Also, plan your paint job to work on the side of a house that's in the shade as much as possible. Now, there are some tools and materials you'll need for painting. Exterior paint, stir sticks, rollers, roller covers, some brushes, a roller grid, some drop cloths, a ladder, some buckets for mixing paint and carrying supplies, rope, ladder hooks, masking supplies, towels, and plastic wrap. Now to figure out how much paint you'll need, calculate the square footage of each side of your house, height times width minus the doors and windows. Now typically a high quality paint will cover about 400 square feet. If you need help with this step, visit Lowe's.com slash calculators. Now, if you need five gallons or more, you could buy paint in five-gallon buckets at Lowe's. And make sure you buy enough to paint in two thin coats. One heavy coat might cause problems that you'll have to repair later. Now, we're going to use acrylic latex paint because it dries more quickly, cleans up with water, and it's resistant to fading. Now, whenever you're using two or more containers of paint, Mix them together in a separate bucket to ensure uniform color. Now be sure to cover any plants or garden beds near your work area. And then just move the drop cloths along as you move your way around the house. It's best to paint from side to side and from top down. Now you want to paint the siding first. After that's dried, go back and paint the trim. Now when you're working on a ladder, make sure you position it on firm level ground. And don't reach out too far away from a ladder. Move the ladder instead of reaching. Now, if you need to take your tools up with you, use a five-gallon bucket and a rope to hoist up your supplies. And I like to keep an extra dry brush with me, just in case I see any dust or debris on the work surface. And you can learn more about ladder safety in the printable instructions. Now, the actual painting process isn't too difficult. We're going to show you how to use a brush or a roller. Now, either way, start by cutting in around the trim with a brush. Paint a few inches around the trim so you'll make brushing or rolling the clabbered easier. Oh, and don't forget the bottom edge of the siding. Now, if you're going to use a brush, work only as far as you can reach safely. Apply the paint in even strokes and always finish back into the wet paint or back brush. Don't lay the paint on too thick or it will drip or won't dry completely. And it's best to do two thin coats for maximum coverage. Once a section is covered, move your ladder over to work on the next section. Now here's how to use a roller. Once you get a section cut in, apply the paint to the face. Now you don't want to overload the roller. Just load it enough to cover the siding. Now you can use a roller grid in your bucket to load the right amount of paint onto the roller. Now, once you've covered a small section, lightly go across it again with a roller to feather out any excess paint. Then just hook your roller onto the side of the bucket and move on to the next section. Keep working from side to side, top to bottom, until all the siding on one side is painted. Then move on to the next side of the house. Now, if you need to take a break, finish the section you're working on. Don't stop in the middle of a wall. Aim for natural breaks like windows and corners. And make sure you take care of your supplies. The trick is to keep them in the shade and keep the paint wet. 
First, unload as much paint as possible from the brush or roller. Then cover the paint can or bucket with a lid or plastic wrap. Cover the brush or roller with plastic wrap and try to form the brush into its original shape. So now, when you're ready to go back to work, all you have to do is uncover your supplies. Now, once the paint is dried on the siding, it's time to tackle the trim work. So you might have to do some additional masking or remove some masking you've already put up. Use a trim brush and, just like the siding, work from the top down. Take your time and remember, finish your strokes back into the wet paint. Now, after you've completed two coats, remove any masking or tape still on the house. Check over the entire house one more time to make sure you didn't miss any spots. Then it's time for cleanup. Now, you might want to check your paint can for specific instructions, but we've provided some basic cleanup and disposal tips in our printable instructions at Lowe's.com slash videos. Once all your supplies are clean, take a step back and enjoy the results of your work. Now, this house really needed a fresh look, and just by adding a couple coats of paint, now it looks like new. For more ways to improve your home, watch our other how-to videos at Lowe's.com slash videos.